Hi, I'm Fancy, and I make not-so-fancy games. Now, I like multiplayer games just as much as the next guy, but the problem is that I don't really know how to make them. And aside from some testing in other engines, which we don't really talk about anymore, I really have no experience in making them. So I decided to challenge myself to make a multiplayer FPS game with bullets, explosions, multiple classes, intense gameplay, and game hosting. And I'm going to do it all in just 7 days. Alright, so the plan is to make single player first and then just add multiplayer later. So now you'd expect Unreal Engine's first person template, a powerful engine capable of creating Fortnite, one of the biggest games of all time, would have a really complex first person template. But no, you can just walk around and push these boxes around. So we're going to go ahead and delete this stuff and start from scratch. So the idea behind the game is that you can choose between five different classes and each of the classes has different abilities, but you're locked into them once you pick them. So it's kind of like Call of Duty mixed with Overwatch, but without good game developers or art or any story or really not even a fun game. So it's actually nothing like them at all. So the first class is going to be the straightforward assault rifle class because every single FPS game has to have it. So I quickly added this AK-47 model that I downloaded from Holly Pizza and some simple ray casting when you shoot the gun. I also added some recoil which <laughs> I don't know if it really looks realistic. Then I made this muzzle flash particle effect and added it to the gun once it starts shooting. Now some games have, you know, recoil patterns that increase the skill gap. I will not have this in my game because what's intended to be a practicable skill quickly turns into a reason to kick me from the game. So I'm just going to add some controller input for some slight recoil and for the secondary ability we're just going to have a rocket launcher, kind of like Soldier 76 in Overwatch. So I made an explosion particle and spawned it at the location. So now we can shoot the gun with the muzzle flash and we can fire rockets. Next class we have the pistol class, which I don't know why anyone would really use. So I start off by making these shots with some recoil. And for the secondary ability I used a delayed loop in order to shoot the pistol's entire round. Next up for the close range specialist we have the shotgun class. Now a lot of games will use sprays in order to have different damage distributions at different ranges, but for my game we're just going to have a single short range lethal shot. And in order to move around to get within range of your enemies, you can dash around the map with your movement ability. Next up for the long range marksman experts we have the sniper class. So first off I just made the camera zoom into the sniper model and then I added this scope texture. And now we have a functioning sniper scope. Then I just used a ray cast to create a shot and we were done. And then for the movement ability, you can go invisible for a short period of time to reposition yourself to get out of danger. Alright, for all the trolls and scumbags out there, we have the RPG class. Wait, does that say big dick? So if it wasn't already overpowered enough to shoot rockets, you can launch yourself into the air and do it as well. Alright, so now that we have single player, we need to add multiplayer, which is one of the hardest things to do in all of game development. So it's not going to be easy, but it should be no problem for a completely serious programmer like myself. So now Unreal Engine makes it extremely easy to add multiplayer to your game. All you have to do is open up your blueprint, go to this replication tab here, and just check all these boxes. And if we go back to play here, it'll work perfectly. Would you like to actually learn multiplayer development? Well, you know, my schedule's kind of full and I have a lot of things to do. Actually, yeah, why not? So I came across this Unreal Engine networking compendium, and then I realized it was 115 pages long. So after hours and hours of researching exactly how the Unreal Engine multiplayer system works, I finally had the basics. Now everything might look fine on your screen, but the only thing other people see is just floating arms and hands, which you know is probably not going to work for an FPS game. So I parented a third person character to the player that only other players can see. And now we have the basics of a multiplayer game set up. Then I added hit markers so you can know when you hit other players. And I was thinking of adding a preset death animation, but instead of doing that we're obviously just going to add ragdoll instead. So now we need to make a map because this box isn't really going to cut it. It literally says first person template right on it and despite all my best attempts at making it look good, it still doesn't really work out. 
So I just downloaded the first prototyping tool I can find in the Unreal Engine marketplace and started placing random shapes around the map until it kind of resembled an FPS map. So now we have this, but I mean people can just walk right outside the map without any repercussions whatsoever, so I added a bunch of boxes around the map. And now we have this, which if you squint really hard kind of resembles a real FPS map. Alright, so now that we have the map and we have all the gameplay features, we're kind of missing something. You see, we're just running around the map without any real goal or purpose or meaning or really any objective. Kind of like my life. So I added this capture zone here to add a King of the Hill game mode. And now if you enter the capture zone, you slowly collect points, and once you reach a certain amount of points, you win. I also added the scoreboard to keep track of how many points everyone has. Then I found the bug. You see, if you kill someone in the capture zone, they still get points added to their score. So let me figure out how to fix this. Alright, finally got that figured out, so all we had to do was just delete the character. So now as far as I can tell, the game is done, and we need to start testing it to make sure that it actually works. So let me message one of my closest friends to help me test the game out. He never responded. Alright, I guess we can try this game development discord. <clears throat> Hi. That's not formal enough. Hello. I was wondering if anyone could help me test my FPS game. It's my first ever multiplayer game, and I wanted to see if it works and find any bugs that may exist. I made it with Unreal Engine. If anyone would be kind enough to help me out, feel free to PM me. Warm regards. Fancy. Two hours later. Well, looks like we're gonna have to drop this project and make a single player game instead. Wait, who's this? Okay, so after testing the game out, I found some bugs. When I say some bugs, I mean a lot of bugs. I mean, look at this. You can literally just skip around the map. So I went around and fixed all the bugs that I can find. And after doing some further testing, it seems that we've basically fixed everything. So obviously we're far from having a game that's ready to be released. So if you want to follow my journey to turn this prototype into a full game that's going to be released on Steam, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to play the game before it's released, join my Discord link in the description.